staring at yet another threat to its food security as the fall army worm continues to spread. While the government is putting a brave face in its front, ongoing rains also continue to wash away thousands of acres of land under crops. Dennis Ochino tells us more. Since March last year, when the first case of the fall army worm attack was reported in the country, the government has employed all sorts of measures to contain its spread. But this has resulted to a note as the worm continues to ravage farms and impoverish Kenyan farmers. It is estimated that uh, as a country we have lost between 3 to 5 billion as a result of our crops that have been destroyed by the fall army worm. The deadly crop-eating caterpillar is now one of the major threats to the country's food security. The situation may further be compounded as the ongoing rains might hamper the growth of many crops yet to mature. The station and damage during the current long rains season 2018 is feared to be higher and widespread. But my ministry is doing all that is within its powers to ensure the losses are minimal. Combating the worm now drawing the Ministry of Defense in what is likely to send a message on the state's commitment in dealing with the fall army worm. 42 counties now say to be under attack. So it's essential that we're able to track its movements across our borders so that we're able to protect our own borders from further invasion. Local researchers are also mulling over other approaches in fighting the pest. From this range of options, from your capabilities, what can we do? In terms of biological control, what can we do in terms of using biorational pesticides? We have been advised that there are some methods that we can use that will not require a lot of effort to be put into place and it can reduce the efforts to about 20-30%. Compounding the country's food situation is also the ongoing rains that is said to have so far washed over 70,000 acres of farmland under crops and continuing. The government admits there is no miracle to eradicate the fall armyworm, but it still remains confident in its efforts to contain the spread of this deadly pest. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.